Today, we're going to show you why this tripod is the best video tripod you can buy anywhere near its price range. Today, we're looking at the Sure SVT75 tripod paired with the SVH15 Pro Video Head System. When we saw this thing, it really piqued our interest, mostly because of the quick release leg system, but more on this later. Most people know Sure from the anamorphic lenses, and we ourselves have received a few of them on this channel. But they have been making more affordable tripods for a very long time, albeit mostly for the photo market. So let's look at what makes this video tripod system interesting. Starting with build quality, overall this tripod feels very good and sturdy. The legs are made from carbon fiber, and the latches to release the legs are made from aluminium. This is likely because carbon fiber is more brittle than aluminium and is more likely to break under strain. The tripod is able to go to a moderate but respectable height of 153 centimeters tall. We also love how low this tripod is able to get, not just from lowering the legs, but with the ability to spread them out to get even lower at 20 centimeters. The handle on the ball is also quite small, and it helps you get even closer to the floor. You can also lock each of the legs at 50 and 78 degrees for middle heights. The feet on the legs have a spike and a rubber foot design, which is designed for both indoor and outdoor use respectively. But the spikes are pretty short, so I'm not sure how useful they're going to be without a shot bag of some kind. We also want to mention that overall, we aren't a big fan of this type of tripod feet. It is subjective, but we notice that these tend to flop around a little bit and sometimes slip out of place. The 75mm fluid head allows you to adjust the tension in both pan and tilt, while also allowing you to set the counterbalance tension so you can really dial in how much push and pull you feel. This is an extremely nice professional feature. The head can be tilted straight down, which is useful if you need to get an overhead shot of something on the ground. It also features a very nice quick release system that's compatible with DJI RS gimbals, which is something I probably won't use, but it's a nice feature to see nonetheless. This also means that it should in theory be compatible with most Manfrotto tripods. But we've found that this isn't necessarily the case. Their plates fit onto Manfrotto heads, but Manfrotto plates don't seem to work on the Sure head. But with that said, it would still be nice to see Sure bring out quick release plates for the system so that we can quickly mount to other stabilizers. If you get the Pro Kit version like we did, you will get the mid-level spreader. The spreader, in our opinion, is of lesser quality and it's a little bit annoying to snap on and off. And generally, using it makes the leg system not work as smoothly as without. Luckily, the tripod still feels extremely solid without, so we prefer not to use it. But just for the sake of transparency, both Drew and Taylor own this tripod, and Drew's mounting hole for the spreader snapped on one of the legs within a couple of days of use. He did reach out to Suro via the public support channels, and they sent him a replacement pod within 48 hours, and he's had no other issues since. With all of that being said, we do love this tripod. And to understand why, we need to bring up another popular system we've had our eyes on for a while, and that's Satchel's Flowtech system. Our interest in that one is mostly because of its leg quick release system. It's proven extremely valuable for solo shooters as it makes adjusting the height so much quicker, easier, and less likely to hurt your back. Unfortunately, the price range for the Satchel isn't particularly affordable, and they also own a patent on that leg design, making it harder for other more affordable manufacturers to jump in. But somehow, Sure has managed to find their way around that and have brought in their own very similar quick release system. Taylor's been using a Miller Air tripod for years, and it's good, but as a solo shooter, he's found adjusting the height of it while having a heavy camera on top to be frustrating and at times awkward. It's so much easier to just be able to release one lock at the top of each leg, adjust your height, and lock the legs off, and vice versa when lowering them. Now let me get this out of the way. The Satchel still feels a little bit better and smoother to use. This is mostly because of the quick release system for their legs being rather tight, and the overall build quality, although good, not quite on par with the Satchel. You can just feel the difference. That being said, it's not terrible, and the Sure tripod overall has a few massive advantages over the Satchel. Firstly, the legs are rated for 25 kilograms and the head is rated for 15 kilograms. That's very good for tripod weight limit, and also more than a lot of pro-level tripods. And you seemingly aren't really losing a lot of build quality here either. The Sure system comes with a six-year global warranty, so they clearly trust that it's going to last. It also has built-in accessory mounting holes, one with ARRI locating pins that can be used for the included carrying handle. But it also works great for mounting an arm for wireless video transmitters or monitors. The only real drawback is the weight of the unit overall. For a carbon fiber tripod, it's pretty darn heavy at almost 8 kilograms fully loaded with the base and legs and video head. So I don't think this tripod is the one to bring with you if you're going to be moving around a lot in a quick shoot. And one big thing that we both noticed is that the tripod overall is just extremely stiff. It's hard to push the legs into place with one hand, and also you have to apply more pressure than you'd think to unlock and relock them. 
we're hoping that this will change with use, but time will tell. But it's also possible that this is intentional, given that the legs can collapse so easily. Imagine if somehow the release on one leg gets bumped and causes the whole tripod to collapse and fall over with a camera on top. Being tighter could prevent that. But that's it. If you're happy to deal with the weight, this is a great tripod at an insane value for money that seems to punch way above its weight. This is one of the best tripods we've ever used, and we absolutely recommend it. But we need to say that, obviously, only long-term testing can determine overall build quality, and until these tripods are rigorously tested in the field over months or years, we can't really say what their long-term use will look like. And given the price point is so low, we are a little bit skeptical. But early impressions from us are very positive. Something else that is worth noting is that Surei are working on a bigger version of this tripod with a 100mm ball, so you may want to hold out for that. But keep in mind that it will likely be more expensive and probably heavier too. But that wraps it up for today. We have left a link in the description where you can buy the tripod online. Let us know if you have any questions and follow us via the handles below. Otherwise, we'll see you next time.